Welcome to our Blackbird and Company presentation on literacy. I'm Sarah Evans, and this is Kim Bredberg. We are founding partners of Blackbird and Company Educational Press, and we're glad you're here. We offer a complete sequential language arts curriculum, kindergarten through 12th grade. Let's begin by diving into literacy. What is literacy? Our students possess massive potential, potential to read, write, speak, and listen. Students who consistently read great stories, comprehend well, tap into their curiosity, and share ideas readily. Blackbird and Company K-12 ELA curriculum empowers students to think critically and creatively over time. In addition, students who utilize Blackbird curriculum longitudinally become strong writers able to articulate their unique ideas. Abraham Lincoln is a terrific example. Um, we want to talk about raising autodidacts. So what makes a great writer? Great writers are readers. Great writers write what they know and in the process acquire skills. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, was also a great writer. So how did this man who, at best, attended school about one year of his life and who never attended college accomplish this great feat? Abraham Lincoln was an autodidact. He took ownership of his education. Our English language arts curriculum is designed to foster independence. Here in the 21st century, you can be that teacher who inspires an Abe Lincoln attitude toward reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So learning to write is the taming of an idea. Abraham Lincoln tamed his Gettysburg Address to a mere 272 words. This small speech brought healing, great healing to a grieving nation, bridging the rift between North and South. So let's talk about this very special occasional speech. Abe Lincoln had a very specific purpose in mind. Our curriculum provides opportunity for students to practice purposeful writing um, in a very meaningful way. Beginning in the fifth grade, all the way through the eighth grade, students will be using tools of style um, and um, they will be introduced to rhetorical device as is employed by Lincoln here in his speech. So I wanted to just share four types of rhetorical device that your students will be learning. So the, the first, the first um, device is called allusion. And the very first opening sentence of this great speech, four score and seven years ago, all of us have heard this sentence sometime in our lifetime, um, is a great example of allusion because it is hearkening back to the Declaration of Independence. Let's look now at the turquoise green highlighted um, passages. Um, these, um, the word, these employ the word that in a way that um, brings rhythm to this wonderful speech and helps you to take pause for the purpose that um, Abraham Lincoln intended, gave their lives that that nation might live, that from these honored um, dead, that we here highly resolve that these, okay, um, Let's look at the very center, the yellow highlight. This is a wonderful example of the rhetorical device called repetition. Repetition is a wonderful way to get your readers to kind of turn their head and listen a little closer. We cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The other thing Abe Lincoln does here, which is really great, is he employs the M dash. 
in um, the third and fourth grade, students using our curriculum will do a deep dive into the parts of speech and punctuation, and they'll learn all about this wonderful um, device, this wonderful uh, mark, punctuation mark, the M dash. Um, this is um, a dash that Emily Dickinson also used really well, another great American writer. Um, the, the, last rep, the last rhetorical device that I want to share is highlighted in Kelly Green. It is for the living. It is rather for us to be here dedicated um, to this great task. So what he's doing here in this passage is he's contrasting the living with the dead. The living are to carry on this unfinished work. So this um, rhetorical device is called antithesis. Um, and we're not, we don't ask students in tools of style to memorize each one of these rhetorical devices and be tested on them. We ask them to use them. All of our materials are um, constructive in nature. It's all about helping and inspiring students to write. So in review, Abraham Lincoln worked. I, I, I think this is what made him an autodidact. He worked to hone his voice and he worked to tame his ideas. He read voraciously. He worked to achieve written and spoken clarity. He listened to his words spoken aloud to communicate his profound ideas simply. Furthermore, he became a master of sound and rhythm and utilized the whole toolkit of rhetorical device. He read, wrote, spoke, listened, and in the process, he achieved literacy. So let's talk benchmarks. Blackbird and Company ELA benchmarks fall into the five broad categories. First, phonics and reading, phonics for reading and writing. This happens, we lay this foundation in kindergarten and first grade. Um, the second um, broad uh, category of benchmarks is the reading of fiction and nonfiction. Students in grade um, kindergarten all the way through 12th grade will, will be exploring both fiction and nonfiction works. Three, the conventions of grammar and style. We really do a deep dive into conventions of grammar and style in um, elementary, um, third, fourth, and fifth grade. And then in middle school, um, we, we while we review these conventions of grammar and style, we press into uh, four years of rhetorical device. Um, so practicing the techniques that great writers use. Um, four, speaking and listening and thinking. This is something that weaves all the way through all 13 years for us, kindergarten through 12th grade. Um, and the fifth broad category is the writing of ideas. And again, we get our students writing from kindergarten all the way through graduation from high school. Benchmarks are milestones. Because there exists this wide range of English language arts skill acquisition and mastery, we've created downloadable annual benchmark checklists clustered into four stages of learning. The primary stage is kindergarten through second grade. Elementary is third through fifth grade, middle school, sixth through eighth grade, and high school, ninth through 12th grade. We've created this plus a monthly worksheet to track your students along the way. Um, you can find these free downloadable worksheets at our um, from our homepage, navigating from the bright orange bar at the top. Um, uh, hit the parent teacher drop down and you'll find all of these um, resources in that area. So benchmarks are milestones. Um, 
when you think of all the tiny skills of language arts coming together over the span of a child's early years, it can seem like a daunting task to be a teacher. But learning and practicing bundles of English language arts skills year after year will lead to competency. And um, it's the one foot in front of the other uh, method. We are here to help you meet and surpass English language arts standards. The primary years set the stage for reading, writing, speaking, and listening. We utilize systematic phonics for teaching reading and writing for kindergarten and first grade. Our phonics program features miniatures and self-correcting cards to reinforce practice. Our kindergarten and first grade collections offer the tools, training, practice, and inspiration needed to introduce students to the wide world of language arts with an integrated multi-sensory approach, which is fun and engaging, just right for the primary years. Upper primary is the launch pad. In second grade, students will apply skills gained in kindergarten and first grade focusing now on writing ideas inspired by stories, both fictional and non-fictional. Sentence construction is key. Ernest Hemingway said, one true sentence, write the truest sentence you can, and then you will be able to write anything. On the left, you can see one of our many early bird selections, and on the right is research writing, introduction to animals. Elementary is all about complex words, exceptional sentences, and the paragraph. What you see here is our third through fifth grade grade level collections. These grades include six novels and six student writing journals, four research writing units where your student will be supported as they compose biographical essays. The applicational materials, story maker, parts of speech, Punctuation and lexicon all enable students to practice exceptional hooks, practice narrative writing, learn parts of speech, and dive into the world of punctuation and beautiful vocabulary. Middle school introduces the concept of composition. What you see here left to right is our sixth through eighth grade level collections. In addition to our core and research writing, we introduce the essay, Students will write descriptive and literary essays. They will continue research writing into the realm of science. They will do a deep dive into poetry and rhetoric becomes more advanced. So how is complexity in writing accomplished? It's accomplished over time. Elementary and middle school students will be guided into the writing of ideas across genres. So each week, students write an original idea tied to a specific section of the reading. This means that over the course of a single school year, students read six books and compose 24 original ideas inspired by the reading. Why is this significant? One, writing across genres using different forms expands and strengthens the student's verbal reasoning. Two, constraining an idea to a specific genre helps student writers consider their readers while developing a unique voice. And three, exploring various types of writing fosters creativity. High school provides opportunities for complex composition. Here now, students are equipped to press into academic literacy. So what you see here is um, our ninth grade, our 10th grade um, American Lit, our 11th grade British Lit, and our 12th grade World Lit. High school English language arts is where everything that the students have been learning um, so far is put into practice. With our core offering, students will catalog observations of great stories. Um, they will journal characters, themes, symbols, and motifs. They will explore rich vocabulary unique to the story. They will gather 
quotes that exemplify themes in preparation for the culminating essay, and they will craft a weekly synopsis, um, the expository genre, and a personal reflection of that week's reading, which is narrative writing. Um, with our application, um, students will continue um, to develop a rich vocabulary through Operation Lexicon, and we will guide them through the intermediate and advanced composition. In the ninth grade, students will write essays tied to great short stories. In the 10th grade, they will write persuasive essays. Um, and then in both 11th and 12th grade, they will um, participate in advanced composition, um, the long research project, the person, place, and thing um, uh, unit. At the end, as we near the end here, I'd like to share a word on scaffolding and differentiation. Blackbird students from kindergarten through 12th grade will build a rich fund of knowledge gathered from the books they read and will be introduced systematically to the building blocks of reading and writing. Ideas are sparked along the way. We provide opportunities to practice the building blocks, note-taking, vocabulary development, um, grammar, mechanics, rhetoric, prompts that provide a springboard to the significant genres of writing, all this and more to help students conquer writing block, writer's block, bring shape to their ideas and to raise their voice with pride. Within our curriculum, there's also ample opportunity to utilize different modalities of presenting instruction ample opportunity to adjust expectations for student output, but it is in the final product, the journaling, the actual writing ideas where differentiating will enable students to soar according to their ability. The wonder of literacy. This is where we want your students to be able to engage. The ability to fluidly read and write, speak and listen this is literacy. C.S. Lewis said, you can make anything by writing. Sadly, some of us forget writing is not calculus. Writing is art. So um, over time, our heart for your students is this. May they read well, write well, and think well. Please feel free to give us a call if you have further questions. Our 800 number is on our website. We also offer five sessions of online live classes every year. These are called our pages classes. And uh, we hope that you might be able to, to join sometime. So thank you so much for participating in our little virtual presentation, take flight. <laughs>